In this little town lives a kitten named Cookie, his big brother Pudding, and their little sister Candy. Lots of other kittens live here too. Cookie, Candy, and Pudding, kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Aliens. One evening, the kitty cats were over at their friend Chase's house. Every evening, I look up at those stars. I hope someday I'll spot a real UFO and get to meet some real aliens. But no one's ever found a real alien ever. Oh, yeah, I know. Kittens, time to head back home. Thanks very much for having us. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows if aliens will ever visit Earth? They sure haven't come here yet. I feel bad, because Chase really wants to meet aliens. What if he waits forever and then it doesn't happen? Forever's a really long time. I feel bad for him, too. Why don't we pretend to be aliens for Chase and tell him we come from a planet way out in space? Great idea. Think how excited he's going to be. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, the kittens dressed up like they were from a distant planet. They put on hooded raincoats, headbands with antennas, and cool sunglasses. Oi! One second. Thanks for your help. Hey, shouldn't our voices sound different? If they don't, Chase will know who we are. Salutations from space, Earthling. We are aliens from the faraway planet Catavius. We come in, uh, in peace. No way! Real aliens? Awesome! Oi! I've been waiting for you to come. Guess you learned our language. What language does everyone speak back on Catavius? It sounds like this. Meow, 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 meow. That's really funny. Tell me something cool about the planet you come from. Hmm. The gravity on our planet is so strong that everybody there must bend over and walk four-legged. We also use four legs to climb up crazy space trees. And if we do ever fall down, we land on all four legs every single time that we fall. And sometimes beams of light appear, and everyone tries to catch them. It's the favorite sport on our planet. <laughs> what a fascinating place. And now I'll tell you how we all live. This is a rocket to fly into outer space. And this is a swing. This is a ball. Chase told the kittens many things that they, of course, already knew. It's a pillow for us to put our heads on when we're sleeping. This is a clock. Its job is to tell you the time. This is a telescope, a present from my dad this morning. And this is a book. It has pictures. We were supposed it's to be back home for lunch. It's we're late. Yeah, but how can we leave? I've got a really good idea. Here's the way to open a window. And here's the way to close one. And this is... Thanks very much, Earth Creature. But we must depart now. Otherwise, our, uh, spaceship will just take off without us and we'd be stopped. You guys really have a real spaceship? I have to see it, please! Run! Hold on! I'm coming! Where's your spaceship? Is it really cool? <laughs> oh. 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 oh, no. Chase will know it was us all along. We just didn't want you to wait forever to meet your aliens. That's why we pretended to be aliens ourselves. Chase, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I knew it was you guys all the time. But it was completely awesome. Why don't you come over later tonight? We'll look at all the stars through my brand new telescope. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! This is the fish constellation. And this is the big cat constellation. These four stars are its tail. See? The kitten saw that outer space is so beautiful that you look at it forever. All of us can gaze at the stars and imagine. Bicycle! It was a big day. Mommy and Daddy gave Candy her very first big girl bicycle. Ah! <gasps> Surprise! <laughs> Hooray! 
bicycle race with you guys. So, so awesome. awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Wait, I just remembered I don't know how to ride a big girl bike. You'll learn to ride without training wheels in no time if your brothers give you lessons. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty easy. Yep. Candy was very proud to show off her new bike to their friends. Look at you. Candy, you look all grown up on your new bicycle. It's beautiful, Candy. When are we going to start the race, everyone? Well, we have to teach Candy how to ride her new bike first. Uh... It's easy, Candy. Watch. Cookie rode so fast, poor Candy could barely follow what he was doing. Get all that? No. Well, just give it a try anyway. Ah! Well, that didn't work at all. Here, I'll show you the proper way to ride. Pudding did just what Cookie did, only much slower. Candy watched as closely as she could. Ah! Uh, I don't think I can do this. Watch! This is how you turn! Look, the most important thing is that you pedal really fast. Um, I think the most important thing to learn is balance. Ringing the bell is important because it sounds so very pretty. Candy tried her best to remember all of her friend's advice. Come on, Candy, you can do it. Ah! Ah! Oh. Ouchie. How will I ever remember to turn with the handlebars and pedal really fast and keep my balance and ring the bell at the same time? Well, if you start at the top of a steep hill, you won't have to pedal hard to get so fast. Ah! But, Cookie, how will I keep my balance? Ah! Then for balance, we could just put really giant wheels on your bike. Ah! But pudding, wouldn't that be sort of dangerous? Uh, <laughs> we should just tie a rubber band to two trees and then... Pyaw! Nah, we should tie some pretty pink balloons to Candy's bike. You'd stay well balanced and look just lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna learn to do this. Ah. Chase's daddy had arrived to start the big race. What was Candy going to do? It's time to start the race, little ones. Here's the starting line, and the finish line is at that red flag. Be good sports and have fun. But I can't. Hooray! After I win, I'll come back and show you how to ride, Candy. I promise. But if I win, I want to be the one who teaches her how. On your marks. Kids, get set. I'm going to win and teach Candy how to ride. No, you're not. All right, don't give up, Candy. Just try to keep your balance. Uh. Now just try to pedal. Uh. Balance, pedaling, turning, and ringing the bell as well. <laughs> yeah! Meanwhile, the competition was getting pretty fierce. I'll teach Candy way better than you. I will! Whoa. Uh. 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 Huh? Ah. Oh. You guys look funny when you're all stacked up like that. Huh? huh? After a dramatic four-bike pileup, the winner is Little Candy! <laughs> Are you kidding us? Hey, hey Dad. Dad! Hey, hey Mom. Mom! Candy learned how to ride her big girl bike all by herself. It was awesome! She won the race and beat all of us. That's right. I had a feeling everything was going to turn out all right. Well, it didn't turn out so great for us because we lost the race. We didn't even finish. <laughs> Candy learning how to ride a bike is a win for the entire family. Because it means we'll be able to go on bike rides all together. There are trails all around our park. Daddy had already mapped out their first family bike ride picnic. Awesome! And when the family is on a long ride, we'll all be wearing our glow-in-the-dark bicycle safety vests. All right! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Candy may have won the race, but the family got a new way to have fun together, which is the best prize of all. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Movie makers. One day, Cookie Candy and Pudding were excited about a new project. What's that noise? Sounds like a whale. It's, it's Daddy! Daddy. Uh -huh. Oh. Hi, kids. We really want to make a movie, but don't know how. Oh, well, you're going to need a director and a scriptwriter and a camera person. But, but what, what do those, those words mean? mean? Well, a screenwriter makes up the stories, a director tells the actors what to do, and the camera person records it all on the camera. Hey, I like to make up stories. And I like to tell people what to do. <laughs> I guess that makes me the cameraman. Uh, only I don't exactly have a camera. 
Don't need one. Nowadays, you can make a movie on a phone. Mommy! Mommy! We're gonna make a movie. Can we pretty please borrow your phone to use as our movie camera? Of course. Just uh -oh. don't lose it. All right! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The cast of the movie has arrived. Boris, Chase, oh. and Cupcake. Neo. What's with these costumes? Our movie's supposed to be about pirates. Well, I'm the beautiful and perfect pirate princess. And I'm a pirate alien from the planet R. Pew, pew, pew. I, of course, am a traditional pirate clown. I'll be in my trailer. We can make it work, but first, we'll need a ship. A broom and a bedsheet turned the sofa into a fine sailing vessel. Well, is the camera on? Uh, uh-huh. All right, then. Action. Action means do something. Otherwise, the movie will be a snore. Hey, what if we rock the boat like we're in some kind of storm? <laughs> oh, I can jump, too, because I'm a clown, after all. <laughs> and I can fall down without hurting myself. Cut! Ow. What on earth was that? <laughs> Whoops, I think our ship must have sunk. Pew, pew! How am I supposed to work like this? Wait till you hear what happens next. Whale attack! But who will play the part of the whale? Who else? He'd been practicing whale noises in his sleep all day. Daddy was a natural. <laughs> I'm a whale! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's time for my song now. <sighs> huh? Hey, Granny's not supposed to be in the movie. Oh, I see it's a phone call. Hello, Granny. No, it's not Mommy. It's just Pudding. I'm making a movie. Pudding, darling, help! <gasps> the forest is a peaceful place. It's silent and serene. And lovely as my furry face. <gasps> hey, Pudding, did you get all that? I don't know, because I lost Mom's phone. Uh-oh. Mom's going to be upset about that. We got to find it. Our movie's on it. So that's where my dance shoes win. Down the barbecue floor. I got it. No, that's a worm. No, no luck. What am I going to say to Mommy? <laughs> uh, I think I have an idea huh? for this scene, but I'll need the whale's telephone. <laughs> Candy's idea was a good one. <gasps> and the movie camera was found. Hooray! That evening, they held a big movie premiere. What'll we do if they don't like our movie? Hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we now present High Seas High Chase. <laughs> 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 Please, everyone, this movie has been awarded the coveted prize for Best Picture of the Year. Amazing! <laughs> Would the filmmakers please come forward to receive their delicious award? And that is how Cookie, Candy, and Pudding made a movie masterpiece and won the Academy Award. The phone. <laughs> One fun fall day, the kitty cats were playing with their friends on the playground. <laughs> then along came Chase. Meow! Meow! Look what my father just gave to me! A, a cell, cell phone! phone. <laughs> it's got a music app with tons of songs! It takes photos! Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> but most importantly, check this out. Super cool. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Can I have a turn playing too? And me. Can I also have a turn? But first, me. Come on, come on, go. The kitty cats played with Chase's new phone for hours. 
So I'm gonna ask Chase if I can borrow his phone after lunch so I can take a picture of a slug that I found. And then I want to use it to listen to my very favorite song. I'll finish my cyber soccer tournament, too. Wait a sec. Oh. Oh. Hey, we should ask Mommy and Daddy to buy us each a telephone. That way we won't need to ask for Chase's phone all the time. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Well, a phone is very useful when you need to call someone and talk to them about something. But using it all the time is not good. Imagine what would happen if everyone spent all their time talking on the phone instead of to each other in person. Meow there, Cupcake. How have you been? Long time no see. Candy, it has been a while. We should really meet up sometime. Or if instead of listening to real live music, only listened on their phones. Huh? Ah. Or imagine if everyone only played phone soccer instead of the real thing. And the ball hasn't moved once in 44 minutes! Oh! Yuck! That wouldn't be anything like soccer! We'll live in the real world instead of on the phone. Thank, Thank you, you, Mommy! mommy. Super yummy, Mommy. My pleasure, kids. Time to play! Boris, Dart, and Smudge were still glued to Chase's new phone. They couldn't put it down. Goal! Ten to zero! So awesome. I have a really good idea. We have to get them to play with us instead of the telephone. Another goal! Awesome! What? Smudge, let's play some soccer while you're waiting for your phone turn. Yeah, all right. Dart and Boris are ahead of me in line to use the phone anyhow. <laughs> Goal. Goodness, this is fun. Huh? <laughs> Boris, I'm going to play while you're busy with the phone. <laughs> 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 oh, well, it looks like I won, just like last time. All right, then. Who wants to play next? Huh? Huh? Uh, uh, oh! Hey, wow, a real live soccer game. Hey, everybody, can I play? Yeah, Chase, we could use a good striker. Catch it. Hooray! This is even better than on the phone. <laughs> Meow? Mommy? Yeah, I'm here at the park. All of us are going to play a game of real life soccer now. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Phones are great for calling someone when you need to talk to them. Goal! But playing is always more fun in the real world with friends. One day, Cookie, Candy, and Pudding were reading exciting superhero comics. So cool! Look at Glow Kitty. He can shoot light in the dark from his eyes just like lanterns. And Fur Cat can instantly unleash the mighty power of Fluff. Yeah, but Lightning Cat's the best. Look at the lightning shooting out of her paws. Being a superhero is just so awesome. Uh-huh. All of them have some kind of super amazing power. Hey, why don't we play a superhero game? We could make our very own super outfits. And super names. And we can have super awesome powers, right? Super! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And so the excited super kitty cats began making their costumes. Actual superheroes. Superheroes have got to have someone to save, though. I could be the pretty cat in trouble, guys. You know, waiting to be rescued. And then one of you can save the day. Hey, hey that's, that's great. great! So I'll be the one to save her with Cape Cat's superpower of flight. Goodness, someone please save me! Horrible! Her dress will get all wet. Um... Ha ha! You're my superhero, Cape Cat. Thanks. 
Nah, this rescue is really a job for Captain Strong with my super-powered muscles. Goodness, someone please save me! A meteor's coming! It doesn't look friendly. Oh. Oh. You're my superhero, Captain Strong. Wait, wait, wait! I'll be doing the rescuing here myself. I'm Meow Girl, and I can move things with my incredible mind. Goodness, someone please save me! Gosh, there's a fire. Mm. Oh. 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 <laughs> my superest hero ever is Meow Girl. And plus, Cupcake is my friend, so I should really be the one who rescues her. We're all friends with Cupcake. Yeah, we should let her pick who saves her. Hey! Oh. Oh. I'm ready to be rescued, guys, anytime. I'm pretty scared of heights. Cupcake was playing the part of a cat stuck up in a tree. Cape Cat's ready to fly to the rescue, yeah! Rescue time! So you've been saved, Cupcake, you can come down. Wait, here comes Meow Girl. I will bring you safely back down with my Mega Mind. Rescue time! Done, come down. Where's the fun in that, though? I'd look awkward climbing back down by myself. What kind of rescue is that? Um, none of us actually have superpowers. You know that, right? And so we aren't really able to save you. Oh, goodness. Guess I shouldn't have climbed up here, right? Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh, goodness, someone please save me! Cupcake is about to fall on a cactus! Oh, no! Good idea. Cookie, grab on tight to the tree trunk, and then Pudding, you just grab a hold of his cape and pull it as hard as you possibly can. Uh. Jump for it, Cupcake! <laughs> oh, wow! You three just saved Cupcake for real! Hey, yeah! With the super thinking of Candy's brain... Hmm. Pudding's mega strong muscles. Hmm. And with Cookie's super cape. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. You're all my superheroes. Working together, we can solve almost any problem. Super! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Think you could save me next? And me! <laughs> it turned out working together was the kitten's real superpower. They were a real super team. The Super Kitty Cats. The Kitty Train. One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kitty cats and their friends to the park for a ride on the children's pretend steam train. I'm driving, called it. And Pudding can be the coal shoveler, and Candy can be the conductor, then everybody else can be passengers. Let's, Let's go! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! You kids have a great trip. We'll be here waiting for you. Uh, maybe we have time to get a nice box of popcorn. Shovel in more coal so we can go faster. At first, Pudding had fun shoveling toy coal into a toy furnace and making believe it was the real thing. May I have your ticket, please? Uh, oh. Shoveling coal is making me tired. And I'm bored with just checking everyone's tickets. Okay, why don't you be the coal shoveler and you be the conductor? Uh, can I have a look at your tickets, I guess? What? Again? Cookie, I want to have a turn driving the train. What? I can't hear you! Oh, yeah? Now, I'm the driver and you're the shoveler. Wait, I want to be the driver now. I've already been the conductor and the coal shoveler. Give that hat back right now! Pudding, give me that hat! I'm the driver! No, me! Give me the hat! Well, so whoever has the hat is the driver? <sighs> I dare you to try and take it! Took my hat. <laughs> 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 
Fresh, yummy popcorn. Oh. oh, no. Now we don't have a driver at all. Speaking of the driver, guys, who's driving the train now? The train was approaching the station, but it was going too fast. Could we maybe ask Daddy to stop the train for us? <sighs> but it's going so fast that Daddy couldn't catch it. Getting there, getting there, I'm gonna do it! Or... I'm too slow. No! <laughs> what we need to do to stop the train is to use a parachute. We don't have a parachute, though. Any other ideas? It's too bad a train isn't like a bike, because on my bike, I just press the brakes and then it stops, you know? Yeah, the brake lever! must have been going very quickly to have your driver's hat blown off by the wind. Pudding? Hey, here you go. It's your turn to be the driver now. Hey, what about us? I want to have a turn being driver. And me. I have a really good idea. We can all take turns being the driver, all right? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Choo choo choo! choo. Oh, it's great to drive the choo-choo Up the tracks along the way In our awesome, cool, true, blue choo-choo train What a perfect day The train is really going Puffing smoke into the air When they hear the whistle blowing Then they'll know that we are there Choo-choo-choo! This time around, everyone had a turn driving the train. And Cookie had a great time just being a passenger and enjoying the wonderful view.